Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about tips to keep in mind when you're cleaning your solar panels, so that conversation is coming up. First tip is to make sure you use white distilled vinegar when you're cleaning your panels, and if you want to see my process, I do have a video on how I do it, so I'll link you here. You want to use an 8 to 1 ratio, 8 parts water to 1 part vinegar, and it's basically the acid in the vinegar that helps break up the dirt on the panels and, you know, makes it easier to clean. So on another note too, you don't want to use soap, uh, any type of soap on the panels because it can leave a residue on the panels after you're done cleaning, and obviously that's not going to be good for your production. Don't use a pressure washer when you're cleaning the panels. So basically you don't want to use pressurized water because pressurized water and glass can, it is not a good mix. Basically the pressure can actually crack the glass, especially if the panels are, you know, in the sun. So that expansion and contraction can cause the panels to crack. So we don't want to do that. So you just want to use regular hose water to wash the panels off. In addition, you don't want to be cleaning your panels in direct sunlight. So as I just mentioned, the contraction and expansion. So obviously if the sun is blasting your panels, that's going to, you know, cause the contraction and expansion and you add cold water to that, you know, panels can crack. So an example is, let's say your panels are facing southwest. If they are, then you'd want to do those panels in the morning when the sun is rising in the east. That way there's no direct sunlight on the panels and it'll be all good. Make sure you have a brush with soft bristles. So basically you want soft bristles instead of hard bristles because again, when you're, you know, rubbing the panel with this brush, uh, if it's kind of firm, you could, you know, rub the dirt around. It could scrape up the glass on the panels. And that is not good because that's going to impede your production as well. And of course, before you start, make sure your brush is clean and there's no dirt or anything on there because you don't want to risk, you know, rubbing all this old dirt and things on your panels, which could scratch them. When you're cleaning your panels, make sure that you get all the dirt off the bottom of the panel. So gravity does its thing. And basically, if you live like in a desert area or a really dry area with a lot of dust or pollen, you know, gravity is going to pull the all this dust and dirt down to the bottom of the panel because there's a little bit of a ledge there. So it gets stuck. So make sure you clean all that off. That way you get, you know, the most production possible. Just make sure after you clean off the bottom of the panels of your brush that you wash your brush off. That way there's not a ton of dirt on it that you're, you know, rubbing around on other panels and risk scratching those ones. Last thing I make sure is once I'm done cleaning the panels, I use distilled water to finish off the panels. And that's because if you just use normal tap water, tap water has minerals in it. So basically if you were to spray that on your panel, and then it dries, all the minerals are going to be left on your panel. So basically that's why you want to use distilled water that doesn't have minerals. So that way once all the dirt is washed off with the distilled water, then it'll just dry off and be a nice, clear, clean panel with, you know, max production. So those are the tips I go by when I clean my solar panels. Hopefully the video was helpful and thanks for watching.